I want you to try and feel like you've got three fingers on the end of the rope and then the thumb just goes on top really nice and light. What's up guys, the John Pro Coach here. Listen, keeping fit has never been so important in a world where fitness trends are constantly changing. What if you were able to take complete control over your cardio without the need for expensive gym memberships or getting bored on the treadmill? For over five years now, I've been promoting the power and benefits of the skipping rope online. And for the first time ever, I've created a complete beginner's guide on how to use your ropes correctly. Join me and hundreds of thousands of others and start your skipping journey today. What's cracking Jump Nation family? It's your boy here, Rushi S, AKA the Jump Rope Coach. Welcome back to another fire skipping tutorial people and here, the home of Jump Rope Fitness and Lifestyle. Today, I've got a really quick tutorial for you and it's leading on from my previous one, which is all about how to rotate your skipping rope today we're going to talk about actually your grip pressure right now this is such a cool tip um really golden piece of advice that i'm going to give you right now basically like in my years of skipping right it's been about six years now um i've seen so many different styles there's so many people getting into skipping so many people asking me questions why they can't perform tricks why they can't get things to look the way that i might do it and sometimes it's just these small sort of details so i'm going to take you through a very quick and easy tip right and i want you to try it i want you to give me your feedback as well in the comments okay so we're going to quickly take these trainers off and i'm going to really demonstrate what i want you to try now most people when they skip the first thing they want to do is just grip the handles and they go straight into it and then let's just say we're going to do some sort of run skip right nothing looks too crazy about that but from what, my point of view they're gripping very hard on their ropes okay when they're doing things like double unders for example there's a lot of force coming through their hands onto the rope and they're trying to drive this thing around. What I'm gonna try and get you guys to do, I'm gonna get a closer camera angle here, is I'm gonna get you to actually try to start skipping with a very light grip pressure. So try and focus, especially if you've got the speed rope from us or any other skipping rope for that matter. I want you to try and feel like you've got three fingers on the end of the rope and then the thumb just goes on top really nice and light and you kind of feel like you take your index finger off the rope for a second. For light grip pressure now, yeah, the revolutions, the way you kind of manage your rope now comes from those three fingers at the bottom and your thumb, your thumb is the one that rests on top, gets your rope around. And you just want to feel like this is, you're not, you're not holding it hard, you're not kind of gripping it too hard. When you come to now starting to do your kind of transitions, your tricks, your kind of like way of maneuvering this thing now, it's not so tight. It's not so, there's not, not so much stress on your forearms, on your wrists. It's natural, it flows. You wanna have the feeling that this rope is flowing out of your arm so you can kind of paint these pictures with the rope with your thumb. That kind of makes sense. Better rope manipulation, better control, better balance. Showing some moves here. All right, there's, there's no force. There's no force coming from these wrists. The grip pressure, nice and light. So remember, three fingers only, very light pressure. Let the forearms, let the wrists work. Don't stress it, man. You don't want to feel like this is hard work. Even with moves like double under crossovers, a lot of people, when they stress it, this is the way they do it sometimes. Hard grip. Right? You're gonna trip up, you're gonna trip up more likely as well because you've got this big force, these hands moving too aggressively. Take the grip off, take the pressure off, a bit more lighter. And you're gonna see the rope move a lot more freely. All right, people, promise you a quick tutorial. Again, this is like a part two from the rotation drill. If you haven't seen that, go check that one out. This really needs to be implemented with that rotation drill that I showed you. 
And just remember, keep it nice, effortless, fluid. That all comes with nice, soft wrists, soft hands. Just not tight, okay? Just remember that. Grip pressure is also a very key concept if you want to skip like a boss. So as usual, guys, hit that subscribe button. Drop me a big thumbs up. That'd be really useful for me. Help this channel grow even more. And keep promoting the power of the rope with your friends and family out there. Whew. Mega, my, my heart is getting mad right now, bro. Um, as usual, I'll see you in the next video. So take care of yourself, skip the treadmill, stay safe. Peace. Was the knight in shining armor in your movie? Well, put your lips on mine and love the aftertaste now.